Hi everyone, my name's Tony Belton. I'm a uh, local wildlife and naturalist photographer. I've been living in Iluka for about 15 years now. I kayak the uh, lower reaches of the Clarence River often and take lots of bird photos mainly. Just wanted to talk about um, how important this habitat is here in the Clarence River, particularly these lower reaches that carry a lot of um, sand and mud flats and seagrass beds and mangroves behind me. But all the way along the river, all the way to these proposed um, exploratory mine sites that have been uh, licensed to do so. Where I'm uh, just squatting here um, is of uh, great significance. This is a sand flat full of holes, millions of holes, uh, what I call yabbies or pink nippers is another word for them. They're just little tiny yabbies that uh, live in the sand, do their thing, are eaten by fish, but also eaten by birds like the eastern curlew. As you can see, they're critically endangered. It's got that long specialised beak to drill into these holes and to get food. There's a couple of other birds with uh, similarly long beaks, whimbrels, and uh, I've got one behind you here that's um, called a bar-tailed godwit. Another critically endangered bird, a sort of more straight beak. Uh, these birds migrate in autumn from here to places like Alaska, China, Siberia, Korea in the northern hemisphere to breed and then return here in spring and spend summer here eating and, fat, eating and fattening up for their northern hemisphere trip again for winter. Now it's cyclical every year. Um, that is why it's so important to maintain the health of our river system. A single catastrophic pollution event here will wipe out these sand flats and all that live in them, uh, probably kill off the seagrass and affect the mangroves if not kill them out, and obviously kill off all food sources, um, prawns, worms, yabbies, shellfish and the like. So we just cannot let this mining proceed in the upper clearance.